Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made my logo on Paint.net. So it's a very basic logo, and um, pretty much everyone should be able to do this. And by the way, if you want to download Paint.net, simply just type it in on Google, and I believe it's the second one down, and just click the link at the top right hand side of the screen. So, um first what I did was remove the background and put in a new blank layer as you can see here um, then I grabbed the line thing here and um, drew a line just that kind of distance there um, made it slightly thicker to about that and I think I will stretch that out just a bit like that okay so then what I did was layers rotate and zoom and then angle 60 degrees and then I'll just click somewhere else so that registers um actually sorry I have made a mistake take out the six uh, press ok so then what you want to do is duplicate layer then you go into layers rotate and zoom and do 60 degrees um, so you can see that kind of goes around there but if you're wanting to make the hexagon shape I have you won't want these gaps so what I do is grab this little bit and move it around until it's in line and press OK then I duplicate that layer um, layers rotate and zoom and you'll see it does that for me and I'll duplicate that layer layers rotate and zoom again it does it for me as you can see um, so this process is pretty easy you just need to do it until you have the shape complete so just bear with me one more left layers rotate and zoom okay so now we have the hexagon shape and you can see that was super easy so um, now I'll just make sure I'm still on this tool and I'm gonna draw a line from here all the way across down here to split it in two um, then what I'll do is take a line from here down to the other side and there you go then what I do is grab this one which lets you bend the line so I will just quickly bend the line out there so once I have that line in place that is the shape finished I have my four sectors here so then what I'm going to want to do is select the text um, tool and I'm just going to type in the initials of my channel so you have P here um, then I'll move that into the middle I'm gonna need to make it quite a bit bigger so and also change the font because that font is pretty boring so uh, I will scroll down and I think I might use this yep I'm pretty sure that's the font I used and put it right up to 80 so there you can see that is a good size um, and then I'll just do that there for the F. So this, um, so this is Pixel Fiend Tech, just the initials. I'm just going to move them into place. And then at the bottom, what I did was .dot com, um, and I did it a lot smaller than that. Um, so although you you may be thinking, oh wait, what is Pixel Fiend Tech .dot com? It has not been released yet, but um, because of exams and stuff but after that I'm going to work really hard on pixelfiendtech.com and get that up to you as soon as possible and I just kind of made this logo in advance um, so just so I don't have to make a new one okay so there you have the logo finished um, so what I'm going to do is just click merge down layers so that you don't have tons of layers then form a new layer move it to the bottom and this will be the background layer then I'll select my first color um, and second color as the two greys I may change that um, if I decide it looks better so then I select the gradient tool and go on to this um, this type of gradient here which gives quite a cool effect um, 
and I do have to remember to select it not just show you it so I'll click on it and then as you can see it goes like that and I set the middle like there but these colors are too similar so that's not going to work so I'll change it to that and I think I'll grab this one and maybe move it to about there yes I think that'll do okay so that just gives you a cool kind of effect on it um, and if you want you can merge those two uh, nope whoops I <laughs> duplicated the layer there uh, yeah they just merge it down and there you go that is your finished item so if you have any queries questions drop me a comment or email me um, but that is how I made my logo so guys that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel also head over to Facebook and Twitter my names are on screen and I'll also put links down in the description if you've got any questions you would like to ask please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen thanks for watching see you